This is Duke University. Global trade and environmental Being justice. Human rights issues today. are still... The term Ubuntu. A the Alien and Sedition accident. He's making inferential discoveries. The importance of an archive. The John Hope Franklin Center. Now some people, of course, probably many of you, thought the whole scandal was ridiculous. That why is the media dwelling so much on this golfer's escapades, you know, war in Afghanistan, poverty, health care, and so forth. Um, fair enough, I think I, I feel the same way, but I would point out that the sort of position of disgusted skepticism, and this idea that the mass media is always taking our eye off the ball of more important issues, is itself a kind of very familiar positioning in the, um, in the machinery of scandal. It's not really a, it sort of positions itself as, okay, I, I'm so skin, cynical and skeptical and I hate all of this stuff, yet it's, it's a position that scandal produces. It's not really outside of the scandal machine. So the, here's a typical articulation, B202, the screen name in the Washington Post. A million deaths in Afghanistan, a billion new enemies for America, a trillion dollars in debt, and he's here addressing himself to the Washington Post, and you are all over this utterly drivel tabloid story. Uh, I'm not that codependent. So here's this, this is one of the positionings of, of, um, of disinterest, except he's interested enough to write several more posts after this. <laughs> um, so um, uh, the scandal is also generic in its temporality and the way that it unfolds. Um, old anthropology, you know, kind of pre -colonial, or colonial anthropology gets a bad name, the sort of anthropology is connected to colonialism and imperialism, and it wasn't sensitive to history and power. And a lot of this is true, um, but there's some good old anthropology. Victor Turner, some, some Scotsman, this famous idea of the social drama, which he initially, from his work, in, derived or got out of his research in, in um, villages in southern Africa. But the social drama is this idea of how a, a certain kinds of events unfold in society. And the argument was that what will happen is that there's, first of all, a breach society or cultural norms are breached. Um, that second of all, there's a crisis, like when everybody finds out about this awful thing that's been done, uh, uh, there's this sort of crisis, what are we gonna do? This is so awful, um, and so forth. It's followed then by, in the sort of script, the, the kind of typical social drama by regressive action, where the person who's screwed up or somebody else tries to do something to fix the situation. And then the fourth stage for Turner, although he recognized this didn't always happen, was reintegration. You know, the person is forgiven, allowed to return into the, the family of, uh, into, the, into the family of society, is, is rehabilitated. So Tiger, the breach are his affairs. You're not supposed to have affairs if you're married. It violates our cultural conventions. The crisis is the SUV crash and all of the news everywhere about um, Tiger's personal life. The redressive action in Tiger's case, you know, of course for celebrities the redressive action is supposed to be, and politicians now, is the apology. Um, Tiger, partly because I think you know, it's this deep sense of privacy and um, somebody who's not used to saying much about his personal life in public, uh, and also a certain kind of degree of arrogance. Like, I mean, understandably he didn't want to talk about his private life, but also the sort of idea that you know, I'm Tiger Woods and I'm just going to be able to bowl my way through it just, just like I do with the competition at, at these golf tournaments. So Tiger finally, on February 18th, three months after the crash, gives this um, nationally televised apology. It's not just on you know, ESPN or the Golf Channel. It's on ABC, CBS. It's 18 minutes long, the same Nixon tape gap. Uh, <laughs> uh, and the scan, the, the apology, a few of you may have seen it, well, like, it's totally scripted. Um, he'd hired Ari Fleischer, the former Bush pre press secretary to help with image management. It was also, I found it particularly moving for such a scripted um, event. Um, whether it would really achieve its goal of reintegration, Tiger, you know, once again, um, 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 re-winning his fans and the public it was unclear. Um, he and Ellen did divorce in June. Um, the first rumors was that Ellen was paid $750 million in the divorce settlement. Um, and one of the stories, urban legend or not, was that the Swedish krona actually went up in relationship to the dollar on the day the settlement was signed because so many dollars were being transferred into krona. Uh, it's eventually come out that the settlement was probably only $150 million. So. Produced by Duke University. Online at duke.edu.